Hi guys, in this video you will get to know everything about business analytics, the career options and this video will help you to choose whether you should go for business analytics or not. So analytics is a data driven decision making approach for a business problem. Demand for business analytic professionals grew by 400% in contrast the supply grew only by 20%. So you can get into the supply and get a job. Data science in India is a place to participate in the booming industry of analytics and data science. So what is business analytics? Business analytics is a combination of data analytics, business intelligence and computer programming. It is the science of analyzing data to find out patterns which will be helpful in developing strategies. So if you are stuck, if you are doing a business, suppose the CEO is looking at a business problem and you know trying to solve but not able to solve it so what does that CEO need? CEO needs some kind of data which will help him to find the problem and then to find the solution to the problem so this analytics that is business analytics can be found in almost every industry IDC, that is Interactive Data Corporation, estimates that data creation will reach 163 zettabytes by 2025, which is insane. Big corporations, governments, entrepreneurs and almost everyone else is using data science to generate insights by unearthing patterns and by decoding this raw data. These insights are helping to improve efficiency and to offer innovative solutions to business problems. So you can become a consultant and then you can take that data and then you can find out some patterns and then you can help your client to build the business, to grow the business, to solve the business problems. Analytics is also leveraged widely to plan election campaigns and to win elections as well. You might have heard about it. So what is this process of business analysis? First, you have to frame a business problem. So this is the first thing you do before you start analytics. Don't jump into the data directly. First, think about what is the business problem. Frame it. Once you have done that, convert that into an analytics problem. Here you have to reformulate the business problem with respect to analytics. You develop a proposed set of factors and its relationship to output. For example, if sales are declining, then you check that okay all these factors are there customer loyalty, competition, quality of the product and price of the product and so on and so forth. So all these inputs and the output is sales. So you have to understand that what is the relationship between all these inputs and this specific output that is sales. Then you get into the data. Here you identify and select your data for analysis like I talked about these four inputs should be there, one output should be there. So you define what are your x, what are your y, what is your independent uh, variable, which are your dependent variables and then you try to collect that data. So once you have collected the data, what you will do is you will build a model on it. You first will select which method to use and then you will build a model on it. Then you will deploy it. Then you will take a feedback whether it is working properly or not. If it is working properly, then it's fine. If, if it is not, then you will take that feedback and try to improve it. The model keeps on improving, keeps on giving you more and more accuracy. And with that accuracy, you can actually tell with a lot of confidence that yes, this thing, try to do this and this will pro solve your, probably solve your problem. Most probably solve your problem. Because the accuracy will, and you know, if the accuracy goes up, then your confidence as a data scientist in the model will increase and your confidence while speaking to the client will go up as well. Now let's talk about different types of analytics. So descriptive analytics. There is a descriptive statistics terms which you might have heard of. So this is nothing but this answer what has happened in the past. So this is all about the historical data. It's about the mean, median, mode of the data and so on and so forth. And then predictive analytics, the second part, second type. Predictive, the name suggests that you are going to predict something, that what is going to happen in the future. Based on the past trends, based on the past data, based on the research that you do, based on the model that you made, that is the predictive analytics. And then there is a prescriptive analytics where what should we do is explained. So in predictive analytics, what is going to happen is explained. 
which might be like okay sales is going down and is going to go down further as well but no the ceo is not happy because of it so prescribe something what should we do that is prescriptive analytics what should we do to stop this fall of sales what should we do so that it bounces back and comes again it's very important right for a business sales is very very important revenue is very very important so these kind of business problems might be there which you face you will have to apply all the three types of analytics to describe what has happened in the past descriptive analytics to find what is going to happen in the future predictive analytics and to prescribe something that what you should do so that you avoid these things in future that is a prescriptive analytics i hope you are liking the video if you are then please click on the like button below and you know i will be very happy also you can click on the link go to the pro schools website book an online or offline demo session offline demo sessions can be booked on all these centers so if you are anywhere in these cities then you can you know go ahead and book it talk to our counselors talk to the faculties and take an informed decision business analytics is applied let me tell you it's applied everywhere in all the industries today it's very very vital that you do analytics and they take decisions based on the analytics so analytics is applied if data is there so you have to capture data analyze it take decision based on data analysis so exciting areas of the application are gaming industry fraud detection is there speech recognition is there image recognition is there price comparisons are there recommendation systems are there many many more you will say that yes i am interested in doing business analytics but tell me which company is going to hire me so there are many recruiters if you are coming from it pcs hcl techm mahindra uh, cognizant infosys capgemini satyam wipro all of them will you know look to hire you telecom airtel you know jio all of them banks with analytics operations so they are also banking sector is also going to is is getting into analytics like anything 20% of the analytics professional which are hired are hired by banks and then you can get into niche analytics like absolute data like fractal analytics like new sigma these companies they they predominantly do analytics only or you can get into captive like fidelity dell target amazon and deloitte and so and so forth and then you can get into e-commerce as well like snapdi like amazon like you know flipkart and make my trip and so and so forth so career prospects just really you you have to find what is your interest and then learn these tools techniques once you are okay with this and you know your interest lies in this industry a specific industry then you should get into it and you know it's a very very bright career here it's not just a job that you will get but a long term career that you will make so there are different roles in the analytics team there is one data scientist which is you know at the top level which uses machine learning to do predictive analytics and there is a data analyst which you know find interesting trends in the data that might be descriptive analytics there is a data architect which feature transformations in the machine learning. there is a data administrator as well which integrate external and new data sets or you can name it as data engineer also and there is a business analyst which creates visualizations which build apis for data consumption so if you really want to become data scientist then why should you not start becoming a business analyst first so if you are a fresher you will become business analyst first you work as a business analyst for a few years you can become a data analyst then and later on you can go and become a data scientist and take care of a model take care of a project from end to end that is the process that is the data science or business analytics process so you might be handling the process end to end and that will give you a lot of pleasure and satisfaction so salary is not a problem here because you will be able to earn like 6 lakhs per annum at least and it might go till 15 lakhs per annum as well so salary is not an issue you know if you compare the salary of an analytics professional with any other then you will definitely see a really high salary relatively for a business analytics professional 
Also, you can get into any industry you like to and so and so forth. So, if you don't like maths, if you don't like coding, if you don't like logics, this is not the field for you. But if you like all of these things, if you like logic, if you say that yeah, maths is my thing, and if you say yeah, coding is my thing, or you may say that coding is not my thing, but I would like to learn it, then it's not rocket science. Or you can say maths is not my thing, but I would like to learn it because I want to get into analytics, because I like logics, because I really understand that yes, data is something which is very important today, and the decisions which we take should be data driven. So if you really, you know, gel with this, if you really relate with this, then this is for you and you will have to work really hard to become a data scientist eventually. As if you like this video, please share with your friends. Thank you so much.